Did you know that there are three private schools here in Dallas that rank in the top 35 in the nation? That's right. And uh, I actually went to one of them, still very involved in that community, still helped coach one of the varsity soccer programs at my alma mater. I'll tell you which one if you stick around till the end. Uh, so some might say I'm decently uh, qualified to speak on private schools here in Dallas. So if you're looking into private school, if, it, if it's something that you might be considering, well, that's what we're going to discuss in this video here today. Uh, of course, I'm gonna cover the top 10, but I'm also gonna cover the top 25 because there are some big names in that top 25 that, you know, if you know anything about Dallas, you might expect them to be in the top 10, but didn't quite make the cut. So if that is what you're looking for, then stay tuned because we're getting into it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the most thorough deep dive into all things Dallas, Texas, well, this is the channel that helps you do that. So I invite you to subscribe down below. Make sure you tap the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on the current market here in Dallas, Texas. We drop new videos every single week. My name is Jimmy Webb Jr. I'm a local real estate agent born and raised here, and we're getting tons of calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are ready to make that move here in Dallas, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about buying or selling, here in the Dallas area, you gotta reach out, right? Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you wanna jump straight to a Zoom call with us. Of course, that is our favorite, but whatever way is easiest for you, you know we've got your back when making a smooth move here in Dallas, Texas. But uh, let's jump right into the private schools here, right? So a couple things I wanna mention here to start off, is just to give it some, some context here. Uh, I wanna plant a, a couple of seeds when you're really comparing, you know, public versus making that extra investment to go private, right? You know, if you watch uh, the public, the best public schools video uh, that I just dropped last week, then of course you'll know that eight out of the top 10 uh, best public schools uh, in Texas are here in DFW. And so we've got really some great education here in the area. Uh, but, you know, when you're making that, um, that decision of, okay, do I really want to shell out an extra 20 grand for my kid to go to uh, private school, right? That's a, that's a big investment, right? And so especially if you have multiple kids, right? And so, um, you know, here's, here's what I will say, okay, is number one, it, it is going to be a more challenging environment, okay? Not only from an intellectual standpoint, but also from, or an academic standpoint, I should say, but also from a, a workload standpoint okay so you're really going to be uh, kind of pushing some boundaries getting uncomfortable right that's how, that's how you grow on the edge of your comfort zone right so they're really gonna uh, you know challenge you to do that uh, so that's the first one the other differentiator is you know listen I'm gonna keep it real here and I think uh, one of the ways that you want to contextualize it is I think you're investing into really it's kind of like a private club right so when you when you're when you're at private school, right, some of your friends, right, or some of your kids' friends and maybe some of the friends that you make, uh, you know, at the football game with the parents, right, are, are going to be some of the more elite families in Dallas, right? And so, uh, you know, some of these friends might, you might have for the rest of your life. I know I can speak to that. And so, you know, it, like the old saying goes, it's not what you know, it's who you know that might be more important, right? And so, uh, you know, certainly there might be some doors that might be, uh, let's say, more easily opened for you uh, than uh, if you hadn't had known those people, right? And so that's kind of what you have to uh, maybe consider as well. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet and you like, uh, you know, people who keep it real, then uh, make sure you subscribe right now. But um, uh, the other thing that I want to uh, mention here uh, before I get into the top 10 here is um, if I don't mention uh, the, if it's a rolling admissions, okay, here's how admissions work, is what they do is they, they open in October-ish time, uh, sometime in October, and the deadline will be in that mid to late January, okay? So that's when you have to apply by, and then the, these private schools are smart, okay? Um, what they do is, they, so they have, they get your applications in January, they go through them all in February, they go through the whole process. 
and then they let you know if you got in or not right before they go on spring break. So, you know, if you don't get in, then you can't call them and, and you know, uh, you know <laughs> yell at them or anything. So, <laughs> um, yeah, when I learned that, I thought that was brilliant, actually. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, it gives you a little chance to cool off if you don't get in. But, um, you know, listen, if you're considering private school and, you know, you kind of want to, um, you know, make some relationships, I know all the people who you want to talk to at each of these different schools. So. Uh, again, if, uh, if private school is what you're, you know, really considering, uh, then of course you got to reach out and uh, let's have a conversation and get you uh, on the phone with the right people. Okay. So uh, here's what I'm going to do: is uh, we're going to start off with the top ten. I'm going to start at ten, the countdown to number one, and then I'll get into the top twenty-five and count that down as well. All right. So. Uh, let me, I've got my notes up here, so let me get those up. There's a lot of numbers we're gonna go through, okay? So uh, starting us off right at number 10, these are the top 10 best private schools in DFW, all right? Top 10, or number 10, is Fort Worth Country Day, all right? So Fort, that's on, gonna be on the Fort Worth side, a really nice area of Fort Worth, by the way. I, I've you know been to Fort Worth Country Day many, many times. Uh, they're in uh, the conference where I went to school, again, I'll, I'll tell you which school I went to uh, here <laughs> once we get to the top three. But um, uh, so I played them, been over there a, a number of times. They have some really great facilities and everything in a really nice part of uh, Fort Worth over there. Uh, the uh, enrollment or the uh, uh, tuition there, that's the word I'm looking for, is 27,000 over there. Uh, and that is a pre-K through high school, school over there. And uh, the uh, teacher to student ratio is seven to one. So they really keep it tight over there at uh, Fort Worth Country Day. And, uh, but they do have 1,100 students. That's, that's counting all you know, pre-K through uh, high school over there. So um, you know, fairly, that's pretty typical uh, really for a private school uh, here in Dallas. Okay, so that's number 10 is gonna be Fort Worth country day number nine is going to be alquin okay so alquin is going to be located in north dallas uh, it's a pretty small school you've only got 600 uh, kids over there um, the tuition is twenty nine thousand to go there Th this is a montessori school as well so uh, you know if that that's a completely different uh, uh, style of learning and everything as you probably are well aware if you're watching this video uh, if you don't, then we can get into that in the comments if you want. But this is a, a kindergarten through high school uh, school right here is Alquin. Uh, the student to teacher ratio is nine to one. So again, they're keeping it, uh, you know, single di single digits, uh, keeping it uh, really, really small over there at Alquin. Uh, I don't have much experience with Alquin uh, personally, uh, but I have uh, heard really, really good things uh, about that school. Okay. so. Let's go to number eight now, which is going to be Trinity Valley. That's uh, again, gonna be on the Fort Worth side of things, uh, really in the, in the really nice uh, area of uh, Fort Worth. You know, we played them. I've been to Trinity Valley many, many times. Um, they have uh, maybe the second best soccer field in, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the conference, I would say. Um, I, I like the grass fields. I'm partial to the grass. You know, I've seen too many injuries on the turf and everything. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm partial to uh, the grass. Fort, Fort Worth Country Day has a grass field as well, uh, but uh, it's kind of narrow. They, they kind of they keep it narrow uh, on the soccer, uh, at least for a, a soccer field, as far as that goes. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm talking too much about sports. But uh, uh, yeah, Trinity Valley, uh, the tuition there is $25,000. Uh, that is, a again, a pre-K through high school school over there and student to teacher ratio is nine to one so again keeping it uh, really small and they've got a thousand students over there so uh, again pretty typical numbers of uh, you know these private schools over here okay uh, next is number seven we're going to talk about Jesuits okay so Jesuit uh, is right there at uh, uh, North Dallas Tollway in 635 basically right there in North Dallas really great school uh, Tuition there is 21,000. This is a Catholic all boys school. Okay, so that is something that uh, you'll want to consider. Uh, and it's only a high school. Okay, so it's uh, nine to 12. They have some uh, schools that they're affiliated with that feed into uh, the Jesuit high school right there. 
and the student to teacher ratio is eight to one and they have 1100 students just in the high school okay so it's going to be a little bit bigger uh, as far as you know graduating class sizes of you know 250 plus kids in your graduating class whereas you know the uh, the Green Hills and the St. Marks and, and you know, places like that are going to be more like a hundred uh, kids in your graduating class. Okay, so uh, that's kind of the vibe at Jesuit. Uh, Jesuit, I would say, is uh, uh, much better as far as sports go. Um, really, in this, I'm looking at this, you know, top ten list. I, I would say, you know, if you are an athlete uh, or if your kid is an athlete and uh, you're looking to private school, I would say Jesuit is kind of going to be or not kind of, it is gonna be the top choice for you there, okay? Uh, if that is something that you're, um, you know, really keen on there, all right? Um, so now let's get into number six, which is going to be Dallas International. Uh, this is again going to be in North Dallas. This is one of those rolling admissions uh, private schools right here. Uh, tuition is 25,000. Uh, this is a pre-K through 12, uh, all the way up to high school, uh, school over there. Um, student to teacher ratio is eight to one and you only have 700 students over there at Dallas International. I know that's a, a different uh, style of, of learning over there. Definitely a, a heavy uh, a priority on um, you know, speaking different languages and, and things like that, right? So uh, I don't have a ton of uh, personal experience with Dallas International. Uh, they weren't uh, in our conference, but uh, I've heard again, you know, really, really uh, great things about that school. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to number five, which is going to be ESD, which is short for Episcopal School of Dallas. I'm very familiar with this one. Uh, they're in our, our conference, been over there many, many times. Uh, tuition there is 32,000. It is a Christian school uh, and it is a pre-K all the way up through high school. Uh, teacher to student ratio is eight to one and uh, you've got 1100 students over there so again pretty typical uh, over there um, yeah esd i mean uh the, the well the stadium over there the the main football stadium well and soccer we play uh, the soccer games over there uh you know is uh has jerry jones's name on it and so uh, you know you got some uh, some big donors over there i mean in that preston hollow area we've got a few of these you'll notice that are in that preston hollow slash kind of north dallas area that's where uh, many of these public or i'm sorry private schools are kind of situated here but um uh, yeah that's kind of uh, esd for you uh, right there so next is going to be number four which is cistercian okay so cistercian is over there in irving off of uh, 114 right there uh, and tuition over there is 22,000. this is a catholic school over there so, you know, they, they do mass and they've got the uniforms and everything like that over there. Uh, but this is also, it starts at fifth grade, does a Cistercian, okay? So it's a little bit smaller. Um, the uh, teacher to student ratio is six to one. So a little bit smaller right there. And you've only got 350 students for, uh, for all of those grades. So from fifth all the way uh, through 12th grade, you've, you've got a total of 350 students right there so a little bit smaller uh, it is kind of you know tucked away back there uh, they got they've got the train tracks that uh, back up um, you know the the football stadium over there so it's kind of it's uh, kind of a cool look you know when you're playing football and you got the train running in, in the back uh, I remember uh, we played a, a game over there at their house uh, and the train went by it was, a, it was a really really cool atmosphere actually so uh, that's the Sturgeon for you over there uh, let's get to number three now, okay? So number three is going to be Hockaday. So Hockaday is over there in North Dallas. Yet again, uh, Hockaday is what, or was ranked the number 35 private school in the nation, okay? This is an all-girls school, okay? Uh, the tuition there is 33,000. And uh, this is a pre-K all the way up to high school over there uh, in, in a teacher to student ratio of 10 to one. You've got 1,100 students over there as well. So uh, pretty typical, the Hockaday Daisies, that's their uh, mascot, the Daisies uh, over there. So, um, but uh, yeah, hey, they don't mess around. Don't, don't mistake, uh, don't take the Daisies lightly, okay? Or they will crush you, okay? So um, uh, yeah, they've got, uh, I know they had uh, 
a, a great, great soccer team over there, a girl soccer team for a long time. Um, and uh, yeah, they really crushed everybody uh, for a long time. So, uh, well, Green Hill had a good battle with them uh, for a while there too. So, uh, you know, there's there's always a battle, you know, on the soccer side of things between, you know, oh, can, you know, can you get any club kids to come? I know the whole club scene is a little different. If you don't know soccer, then, you know, this is going probably over your head. But uh, anyway, that's uh, uh, kind of the, a good look at, at Hockaday there. Uh, very, actually a beautiful, beautiful campus uh, over there on Hockaday, uh, off of uh, Welch Road over there. But now, number two is my alma mater, which is going to be Green Hill School. So. Green Hill is located in Addison, uh, you know, that north side of, of North Dallas over there. Uh, number 31 in the nation is where Green Hill ranks. Uh, tuition was, uh, or is, 33,000 uh, uh, pre-K through 12, all the way up to high school over there. A teacher to student ratio of eight to one. And you've got 1,300 students over at Green Hill. I know they've been doing some expansion over there, of course, this is where I coach and where I went to school and everything. Um, I know they, they just tore down uh, the old science building that's been there uh, even before I was going to school there. I, I believe it was the original uh, science building and they're gonna rebuild a new science building over there. They just built a, a brand new state-of-the-art fine arts building, um, you know, really great facilities. Uh, I, I consider myself very, very blessed to have gone there. Um, the, the best, you know, grass stadium field in the conference by far in my opinion um you know we keep it uh, nice and nice and clean right there and uh you know it's uh, really a really a great school um i know uh, i just actually got an email last week about you know they're, they're now they're talking about okay we've done fine arts we're, we're on we're doing the science thing now we're upgrading the science building okay now let's let's talk about you know the athletics you know how can we beef up those those um, facilities, right? I, th I think what they're trying to do is, cause you know, we've seen uh, other schools in the conference, um, you know, beef up, you know, put the, the brick walls around, the, uh, around the, the stadium and everything to make it look really, really nice. And so um, I have a feeling that might be on the horizon for Green Hill uh, right there, which I'm actually really excited about. Uh, I think that would be a, a great, uh, great look uh, for, for uh, for the brink uh, on that stadium out there. Uh, one of the differentiators about Green Hill that's so attractive to uh, a lot of parents and families is that um, Green Hill, you don't have uniforms at Green Hill. So you can wear whatever you want, okay? So feel free to be, you know, fashion forward or, uh, you know, dress, I mean, you have you have limits, of course. And uh, shout out to Miss Schumann. She was always, you know, out there with the, with the ruler, making sure the girls, you know, skirts are, you know, to, uh, to standard and everything like that. So, um, yeah, anyway, but uh, uh, that's that's kind of one of the differentiators about uh, Green Hill. They do um, really want you to express your individuality over there. That's for sure, okay? So uh, enough on my alma mater. Let's get to number one, which is St. Mark's, okay? So St. Mark's, that's our rival, Green Hill's rival, the St. Mark's Alliance. This is an all boys school located in Preston Hollow. Um, number one private school in the nation. Okay, so, you know, I know uh, a lot of people are looking into St. Mark's. Uh, I know the admissions guy over there very, very well. And uh, uh, tuition over there is 29,000. This is a Christian school, okay? And uh, th they start in first grade, okay? So they don't start in pre-K or kindergarten. You start in first grade over there, go all the way up to high school, of course. Uh, teacher to student ratio is nine to one. And uh, you've got 850 students over there, which, you know, if you take away uh, pre-K and kindergarten, you know, kind of works out to be, it, it, if, you, if you added those over at St. Mark's, it would probably be around, you know, the uh, 1,000 to 1,100 uh, students, uh, like uh, many of these other um, schools that we've talked about already, okay? So that St. Mark's, uh, you know, really, uh, uh, I mean, it's, St. Mark's has a, has a, uh, kind of that old school vibe, that old school, you know, the, the brick buildings and just, you know, they feel, the buildings feel like they've been around forever, but, you know, they've done uh, a lot of upgrades as well. Um, and they've done a, a really nice job with that, uh, with that campus over there uh, for sure. So, uh, yeah, got, 
you know, I, I, I grew up, you know, being a, a Green Hill guy and, you know, growing up hating St. Mark's, but as you, you know, get older and those things become less important, those rivalries, uh, you become more, uh, um, more wise, uh, more aware of what's uh, really important to, you know, you, you have to respect, uh, of course, what they're doing at St. Mark's, you know, if you're going to be the number one rated private school in the nation, uh, of course, uh, they got to be doing something. Okay, so uh, they, their uh, athletics are, are pretty strong as well. I know they just had, um, I think the kid just graduated, but uh, uh, they, ha they had a kid who uh, went on to, to uh, play basketball at Duke University. So, you know, if you're, if you're playing ball at Duke, you know, that's, uh, you're going to be pretty good. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, enough about St. Mark's. So that's the top 10. All right, so let's bring it back up. Now we're gonna get into the top 25, right? But before you do, hey, if you uh, found any value from what we've talked about so far, please smash that like button down below. That would help us out a lot. Thank you so much for doing that for me. And make sure you're subscribed as well. You know, I'm telling you, you do not wanna miss the next video that we drop. So make sure you are subscribed down below, all right? So number 25 is going to be Legacy Christian, which is up in Frisco. I actually just drove by there yesterday. I was doing some videos uh, up there, uh, but uh, Legacy Christian is the basically the private school option in Frisco. Okay, uh, tuition there is twenty thousand. Uh, it is a Christian school, as you might uh, imagine, with the, that being in the name. Uh, it is a pre-K all the way up to high school over there, uh, and the teacher to student ratio is eleven to one over there. So just so just into the double digits right there, but. Uh, you know, it's still gonna feel pretty small, okay? Uh, and you've got 1,000, around 1,000 students over there at Legacy Christian, okay? Uh, now, number 24 is going to be North Star. So this is over in Arlington. Um, you know, tuition over there is 16,000. They start in seventh grade, okay? Um, but when I think middle school, I think that starts at uh, fifth and then sixth, and then you have the seventh and eighth. I guess they wanna start at seventh grade right there. Uh, and go all the way up to uh, 12th grade. Um, this is a very, very, very intimate school. So you, the, the teacher to student ratio is two to one, okay? You've only got uh, 35 students uh, over there at North Star. So it's a very, very, you know, hands-on uh, learning right there. I don't know much uh, about it. I don't have, um, you know, any personal experience with North Star, uh, but uh, I have heard phenomenal things uh, Really about uh, that school anytime that it's come up, okay? Uh, so number 23 is going to be Prestonwood Christian up there in Plano. So uh, when you go uh, down, uh, that's Midway Road, right? Yeah, when you go, when you're going north on Midway, you'll see this massive, absolutely massive church on the, uh, on the, on the uh, west side of Midway uh, over there. And uh, so that's Prestonwood Christian. Um, if you come down uh, the other uh, street over there, you'll see the, um, uh, the stadium, the, uh, the football stadium and everything over there with the big uh, stand on the side. But um, yeah, Prestonwood Christian is one of those rolling admissions places as well. So you can go in there uh, at any time of the year. Tuition over there is 21,000. Uh, of course, it is a Christian, Christian school. Uh, and they do uh, start at pre-K and go all the way up to high school. And the teacher to student ratio there is 10 to one. And they've got 1,600 students over there. So this is gonna be uh, the most uh, out of any of these schools in the top 25. They got plenty of space over there though, I'll tell you that, okay? So uh, that's Prestonwood Christian right there, all right? Uh, now let's go to number 22, which is going to be Liberty Christian which is over there in Argyle. So, you know, Argyle uh, Public School was ranked the uh, number sixth best school district in DFW right here. And so uh, this is gonna be the private school option over there. This is another rolling admissions uh, process over there at Liberty Christian. You've got a tuition of 20,000. Uh, it is a Christian school, as you might imagine. And uh, they do start at pre-K as well and go all the way up to high school. Uh, but the, uh, the teacher to student ratio, we're getting it back down in the single digits. Uh, we're back to uh, seven to one over there uh, at uh, Liberty Christian. And you've got 1,100 students. So, you know, pretty typical 
uh, of, of these schools right here, okay? Now, uh, let's go to number 21, which is going to be Westwood, which is gonna be located in Addison. Okay, so this is a, um, you know, pretty, uh, this is a Montessori school, pretty pretty small school. Uh, tuition is 20,000. Uh, they do start at a pre-K and go all the way up to high school. Um, teacher to student ratio is seven to one, uh, once again. Uh, but you only have 250 students for that whole, for the entire school, okay, uh, for Westwood. Now, I know Westwood uh, was right there, uh, really, really close, actually, to Green Hill. But I had never heard of it when I was at uh, Green Hill. I had only recently heard of it, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, I've heard uh, really great things. But, again, it's one of those uh, pretty small uh, schools right there, okay. So, uh, so that's Westwood, a little small uh, Montessori school. So if you want that uh, style of education you know, that's gonna be a great option for you, okay? Now, number 20 is going to be the Highlands School, which is gonna be over there in Irving. Uh, this is another rolling admissions school. Uh, tuition there is 16,000. It is a Catholic school, and uh, you're, you're gonna start at pre-K over there, go all the way up to high school. Uh, teacher to student ratio of 10 to one, and you got 300 students. So again, a pretty small school over there as well at, at, uh, at the Highlands, okay? Now, uh, let's go to number 19, which is gonna be Akiba Yavne. Okay, this is a Jewish school, okay? Uh, over there in North Dallas, uh, right off of Coit, kind of where Coit turns into 75 right there. The cool part about this school is tuition is only 2,800 bucks, all right? And uh, like I said, it is a, a Jewish school. It, it is only for high school, so starting in ninth grade, going up to 12. Uh, teacher student ratio is six to one. And uh, you've only got 120 students uh, right there, okay? So that's uh, Akiba Yavne. And uh, next, let's go to number 18, which is TCA. So uh, TCA stands for Trinity Christian Academy. Uh, that's gonna be on the north side of Addison. Uh, this is a rolling admission school, which I didn't think it, that it was. I'm very familiar with TCA, uh, but it is a rolling admissions uh, school right there. Tuition of 26,000. Uh, it is a Christian school. Starts at pre-K, goes all the way up to uh, 12th grade, all the way up to high school. Uh, teacher to student ratio of 10 to one. And you've got 1,400 students over there, uh, over there at TCA, okay? Um, I, listen, I have uh, some friends uh, who send their kids to TCA right now, and they absolutely love it over there. Um, and I've, uh, uh, I've, I've worked out at uh, TCA uh, a couple times over there, uh, hit those, Hit those stadium stairs a few times over there. So uh, if you sit down uh, you know, and watch your kid uh, play football or soccer or anything over there, then just know that I've run those stadiums right there, okay? So, uh, all right, number 17 is going to be All Saints. Now that's, we're going back to the Fort Worth side of things over here. So All Saints actually used to be in uh, the SPC conference, which is the conference at Green Hill and St. Mark's and uh, ESD and uh, all these other, uh, uh, school or many of these schools that I've mentioned here are in but they actually just left uh, to go to uh, I believe it was, it was either UAL or, or TAPS one of those and um, this is a rolling admissions school uh, again is All Saints uh, tuition is 23,000 uh, it is a Christian school and uh, they do start at a pre-k and go all the way up to high school over there uh, and you've got a teacher to student ratio of eight to one over there and uh, you've got 1,100 students, so pretty typical of uh, this kind of style of, uh, of private school that we're talking about here, okay? So but that's gonna be on the Fort Worth side of things, okay? Now, let's go to number 16, which is going to be the EA Young Academy for Gifted and Talented Scholars. I know that's a mouthful, right? So this is gonna be over in North Richland Hills, uh, which is kind of on that uh, north of Fort Worth over there. Uh, tuition over there is 18,000. Uh, they start at kindergarten and go all the way up to uh, high school. Uh, 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 teacher student ratio is a four to one. So very, very small. You've got less than a hundred kids for the whole school over there. So uh, really intimate setting over there uh, at the uh, EA Young Academy uh, over there. So uh, uh, not many people know that it's there. Uh, including myself, uh, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, before I did my research over here, uh, I'd never heard of it before, but um, 
it looks like it's uh, doing some really cool things over there with the you know gifted and talented scholarships and uh, things like that okay so uh, now let's go to number 15 which is cambridge which is located in north dallas right at the 75 and northwest highway over there uh, this is another one of those rolling admissions schools uh, tuition is 23,000. it is a christian school it is cambridge uh, they start it at fifth grade and go all the way up through high school and uh, uh, teacher to student ratio at cambridge is eight to one uh, but they've only got 120 students so it's a pretty small school uh, over there uh, at cambridge right now let's go to number 14. this one's an interesting one we're going to talk about lake hill right here which is located over in lake wood uh, which i just dropped the vlog uh, for lake wood so you'll want to check that out i'll link to it in the description down below uh, but uh, tuition over at lake hill is twenty five thousand. Uh, they start in kindergarten go all the way up to uh, high school over there um, uh, teacher to student ratio is eight to one at lake hill and you've only got 400 students over there so it's pretty small uh, but here's kind of the vibe. So if you're looking at Lakewood, okay, what happens is, so Lakewood has that elementary school, which is the best in the state, okay, is that elementary school. Um, really cool community around that elementary school as well. Um, and uh, so what happens is if you live over there, you, you send your kid to Lakewood Elementary, you know, up, to, up through fourth grade. And then you're, you're looking at, okay, maybe, I, maybe I'm going to Lake Hill next, um, or maybe, maybe looking at like a Bishop Lynch or something like that, or uh, you know, there's some other schools around there uh, that you might consider. So uh, if Lakewood is a, a suburb that you're looking at, then uh, we'll definitely have a, a spirited conversation about, okay, what's gonna be the best strategy for which school uh, to send my kid to if that's where I'm living, okay? But uh, just know that that's kind of the, the process is you're definitely going to go to Lakewood Elementary, but after that, you might be looking at other options uh, over there. Okay. Uh, now let's go to number 13, which is going to be Parrish, which is over there, uh, actually right across the street from Green Hill over there in Addison. Uh, tuition there is 29,000. This is a Christian school. Uh, they actually just started it up uh, a few years ago, actually, but they've done uh, really quite well. Uh, they start at a pre-K and go all the way up to high school. Uh, they do have a, a teacher to student ratio of 10 to one, and they've got 1,100 students, which is, uh, I'm, I was actually quite impressed. I thought it would be a little bit smaller based on, you know, I know they just started just a few years ago, uh, but uh, they, they've grown it really, really quite well. So I'm quite impressed by that. Uh, they do have the blue turf uh, over there on their stadium over there. so. Uh, we played a, a couple games over there. They, they weren't around when I was uh, in high school, but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've heard really good things about, uh, uh, you know, it's not gonna be as challenging, you know, as a Green Hill or a Hockey Day or St. Mark's, of course. Uh, those three are kind of on a different uh, level, uh, so to speak, but um, uh, yeah, Parrish is, is still a, a great uh, private school option for you right there in uh, the heart of uh, North Dallas right there, okay? All right, now number 12, this one's a big name, is uh, Ursuline. So Ursuline's over there in Preston Hollow, just missed out on the top 10 right here. Uh, tuition is 25,000. Uh, this is a all girls Catholic school, is Ursuline. Uh, and this is a it's, a, it's a high school, right? So it's kind of like, uh, they're similar to Jesuit. They're like the, the opposite side of Jesuit. So Jesuit is the high school, uh, all boys Catholic school, Ursuline is uh, the mirror, but just for all girls, okay? Uh, and the teacher to student ratio here is nine to one, and you've got 900 students uh, over there at Ursuline. So again, very, very comparable to uh, Jesuit. Uh, same on the athletic fields as well. I think, uh, you know, they, they've got a very strong athletic program over there. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, then that would be kind of the girl side. But again, I think Hockaday, Hockaday and Ursuline have, uh, you know, uh, some tough battles uh, all the time too. So I do know that, but um, uh, of course I'm not a girl, so I didn't go there, but, uh, and, and my sister went to Green Hill as well. And I know, you know, she would talk, she would, uh, she would talk about hockey and, and the Ursuline games, you know, every, anytime uh, she had a game against them. And then we had uh, our family dinner, you know, at home afterwards, you know, she, she would always come back and complain about the bruises and, 
you know, they, you know, <laughs> there, there, there are some tough games over there. Okay. So, uh, all right. So that's Ursuline. And then finally, number 11 is Oak Ridge, which is going to be in Arlington. Actually a really nice part of, of town over there in Arlington. Um, the tuition over there is 22,000. Uh, they do start at pre-K and go all the way up through high school. And then, uh, the teacher to student ratio is nine to one, and, but they've only got 750 students. So they're a little bit more on the smaller side, but um, I know they have, they take their academics very, very seriously uh, over there. It's a very, it's a beautiful campus over there. Uh, I'm very good friends uh, with the soccer coach over there. Uh, shout out to Paolo, but um, yeah, I mean, I know uh, Oak Ridge is a very, very good school. I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that, they're, that they did, just didn't quite make the top 10 right here, uh, but not, not one to be overlooked, especially if you're looking in that Arlington area, you know, in between Fort Worth and Dallas, okay? So, uh, well, hey, that wraps it up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, again, smash that like button down below. I mean, it would mean the world to us if you did that. Make sure you're subscribed as well while you're down there. And uh, hey, I, I wanna invite you, uh, if, if you're continuing your research here, hey, tap on the Dallas, Texas Living name below. That'll take you to our main channel page where you can use the search bar there to look up whatever it is that you're looking for. So if you like my style and uh, you like uh, the content that we're bringing to you, you know, use that as a resource, right? Look up whatever it is, maybe it's a specific topic or maybe a specific area that you're looking for. You know, feel free to jump in there and uh, you know, hey, uh, have some fun uh, watching uh, and finding all these videos. If I haven't covered something that you're looking for, drop me a comment down below. Uh, I'm happy to bump up the priority based on the demand. Again, I do this, uh, I, I make all my content based on what you guys want, okay? So let me know what it is uh, that you guys are looking for, and I'm happy to uh, make that happen for you guys, okay? So, uh, and then, hey, if you don't know where to go from here, you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now that can definitely point you in the right direction. So, uh, you know, of course we do a ton of different styles of videos on this channel. So, hey, whichever one of those is popping out to you, make sure you click on that one right now. And hey, until the next video, I'll see you around town.